All right, here is another five of a kind run that I had been struggling to get after a ridiculous number of attempts. Um, not just attempts, but many, many near misses that were uh, really starting to grate. So I'm picking this up on turn eight, and although it is a jellyfish, which we get so early, I feel like the early game, there's no need to show it, especially since this is gonna go for a while. This was quite amusing to beat the four starfish spam squad. Um, I guess it does show that you, uh, with a lot of these things, you really need to make sure you have uh, equipment as soon as you possibly can. So here I level up the giraffe and get the double um, plus two plus two on the uh, jellies. Now I did put tape here at the back here, but honestly I don't really care about having it in front of the clownfish to get a 2-3 spawn. Sometimes that can actually be worse than uh, the worse than just uh, putting it in the back to take uh, take a snipe or something. So again, level up the clownfish. Every level up is hyper efficient when you've got the jellyfish on board. Now here, I don't know why I didn't uh, I guess I maybe kept the tape here because I thought I might pill it to try and get an extra jellyfish. Um, so since I sold the giraffe, I'm just going to buy the penguin and get a little bit extra buffs. Unfortunately, one of them goes on the clownfish, but never mind. It's not going to be a huge issue because once we get the uh, the proper scaling engine going, getting these to 50-50 is not going to be a, a problem. And... Uh, and that engine is in the shop right now and it is the alpaca and i've criticized it quite a bit recently but there's some runs where you just have to take it really and so here i find the crow so i'll get rid of the taper and just forget about uh, pilling it and the beauty with uh, um, alpaca for jellyfish is that every time you're buying something you're getting double triggers on your, well, it I suppose it depends how many jellyfish you have, but here we have two, so we get four four for that. We'll get another four four for buying the jelly, the third jellyfish. And now I think I'm gonna combine into a level three. So now I get plus uh, five, five, I think that was, and then also the four four from the clownfish. And you can see the huge impact that's had on the jellyfish stats after just one turn. It is turn seven, so we don't actually have uh, a huge amount of uh, of playing room. But we, we are on four hearts, so I could stand to lose one. But I think I would rather draw a couple more games. I've had many, many <laughs> attempts at this where it went late and then ended in disaster. And I'll show some of them at the end. But... Um, here we go against a uh, uh, relatively strong level 2 turkey team, but we scrape a, a draw. And here I can sell the crow and get a level 2 chalk, which can go on to... It. This is probably a waste. Like, you could uh, you could use the chocolate on the, the jellyfish, but it's going to get to 50-50 so quickly, it's kind of not really worth it. And the alpaca is giving two free uh, level ups every turn anyway, so it's really not worth it. And he, so here I just buy sell the pig to get extra gold. There is another chocolate there, so I could level up the the big jellyfish, but it seems awful expensive in my opinion. Um, so I'm not. I really shouldn't have kept it frozen this long. But we do find another jellyfish, and. That is going to mean now that we're going to be forced to sell the clownfish. So, um, you know, at, at this point, I probably could have done that. But I suppose here, this does make sense. The third jellyfish has got a long way to go to catch up with the others. So I might as well make it the level three. Another turkey team, just you cannot escape them when you're playing custom arena. It's just non-stop. Um, I, I don't know if they're ever going to do anything to, to change that, but here they get reindeer twice, which was pretty frustrating. However, we do actually need to lose anyway, really, realistically, to, to get the team to a state where it could potentially win. So here I'm going to level up the third jellyfish. 
you can see the the other level three is almost at 50 50 it's going to be after this this turn i think so clownfish has to go and i freeze the mammoth just in case i get a pill because a level um two mammoth pill would be a, a really good uh, boost of stats but we find a stake so i'll give that to the the third biggest jellyfish and here I'm just debating what's best to buy. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. I can't buy the other jellyfish yet because the alpaca um, has to stay as long as possible. And we hit 50-50 on the other level three. Uh, so here I'm going to take the skunk instead of the uh, lioness just to maximize chances of winning the next round. Since we're now on lethal, we've got to win them all or draw, I suppose. Here we go against a kind of messy looking uh, team with Tapir and of course they get uh, the octopus and the uh, um, the orca. I suppose that is, you got to give credit for uh, for that team set up. Um, you know, that's, I guess that is what Tapir is for. Um, and we just scrape the win. Um, so I guess that team wasn't that good in the end, really. Um, it would have been a lot easier if I had like a lemon on, on one of them. So here I, do I take the pepper? I think maybe I'm going to wait for uh, lemon to freeze another mammoth. Not re probably not worth it really, because the chances of rolling pill are so low. I should just be buying and selling, you know, cow, pig, and anything that's going to uh, give me more stats. So I think here I actually buy the mouse um, because it's going to give the, the double free apple, which it's not much, but it's something. Um, and if we win the next ones, we've only got a couple more turns to go. So we'll buy the snake here, another classic sort of um, stay alive unit. Um, I possibly should have moved the 50-50 to the front, um, but here actually it doesn't really matter too much because we go against the... Someone actually, they actually had their order wrong there. You cannot put tiger behind tiger or parrot behind tiger. So, um, you know, don't make that mistake. <laughs> and here we get the, um, the, the, the last jellyfish required in the shop. Give stake to the um, the other one. I I think I maybe got that wrong. I could have actually done another buy sell. I think before getting the last jellyfish. So that might have been a, a misplay there. Um, but it's turn sixteen. I have two fifty fifties with melon and two stakes. My, I mean, I feel like my chances are not too bad. But then, as you'll see from some of the other uh, runs, uh, you know it's it's so difficult to know if you're gonna if you've got a realistic chance to win. But thankfully, we go against a team that has no equipment, and the bat did not hit the middle melon, which means we insta kill the butterfly. And uh, thankfully, <laughs> the jellyfish journey is over. And uh, here we'll show some of the, the runs, and it's a very similar formula here. You can see I've got um, three big jellyfish, two with melon, one with steak, and the two frozen in the shop. And this one actually, I think I optimized the pivot a bit better here because I get the cat, and I can now buy the cat and use the uh, apples um, for a little bit of extra stats before I buy the final jellyfish. The, the difference here is uh, I only have one stake, but actually um, I think, um, I can't remember which particular fail this is, but um, so many of them end just because of all the equipment getting, oh yeah, okay. So we insta lose because of Peanut and uh, Raccoon. Raccoon totally balanced tier two pet that uh, destroys every team in the end game. <laughs> and then here's another one. Very similar position again, it's turn 16. And we've got a double, almost 50-50 jelly with melon and one with pepper as well. And this time I, I think I, 
I was proud of this optimization as well, where we get the blobfish and then save it to pill onto the remaining jellyfish and um, and get some more level ups. So again, it is double 50-50, <laughs> level three, and and um, one, you know, 40 plus stats, and then a single stake. And we're gonna come a cropper here from uh, Snipe Team, the Lynx. I think I can win this if the Lynx doesn't hit. Like there was three shots from the Lynx there and they all hit units with equipment. I think if it, one of them hits the back unit, then I think I win, or that it's possible for me to win, but. So that was pretty frustrating. And then here's an extra bonus one where this was actually me going for it in uh, pack three, which is much harder <laughs> because um, obviously the jellyfish have no embattle abilities. So you're very limited on the equipment you can buy and because you can't keep the Raptor. Um, you know, you're going into the final battle with uh, a single pepper. And actually we went against uh, JB um, they're in the uh, HAPS Discord and um, I guess a bunch of other uh, Super Auto Pets Discord servers. So, although I lost that one, at least it was to someone whose name I recognized. 